Good morning. It is April 27th, about 10.30. Uh, I'm coming to you from the 101 building uh, here north of Forks uh, with Rio. We are here to um, work on some paddles for canoe journeys. Um, we're up at uh, one of the facilities that the Kuyu tribe has and we'll be doing some woodworking. I think some people are going to be up here working on a canoe this weekend too, so hopefully we can bring some of that to you guys. But for now, I'm just going to kind of get these paddles back into the wood carving area and you all stay tuned. Really quick before I go in there, I kind of want to show you guys these two pictures here. These are really neat. This is, this is a bird's eye view of the push you know in that last vlog or vlog a couple of vlogs ago where i got up into a position you got a bird's eye view of it um this is this is absolutely beautiful you know you got first beach you got the push and you got rialto you got james island the Ouija memorial should be somewhere right up in there somewhere oh, up in that general area and here's another look of it, just like that. I love it. You know, when we went on that practice canoe run that you guys had seen, we, we come out of the marina here and went out through here. And then the one mile buoy is someplace over here. I don't think it's quite in, the, in this picture. But, you know, I'll uh, never forget when we went on canoe journeys you know, when we had left the marina here, we come out and we went through here like this. This was absolutely intense going through this general area right there. You know, I feel that first half an hour I was paddling nothing but air, you know. But, yeah. Anywho, stay tuned. So here are some yellow slab cedars that Rio and I went to Burlington to pick up which I explained how I got a couple of videos that um, I downloaded in editor app to my iPad and I haven't quite mastered how to do the editing. So um, soon, hopefully I can figure out how to do it. I saved the footage so you can see us when we went and got these yellow slabs of cedar to make canoe paddles for canoe journeys. So that's what we'll be doing today. Um, Rio was just talking about how he wants to start getting them cut in half. So, stay tuned. So, uh, Rio just handed me some goggles and told me, or some goggles, some glasses, and said safety first. And tomorrow, Sweet Tea and I will be hitting the rivers uh, with GI's guide service on a fishing trip tomorrow. And Rio just handed me this mug and told me to give it to Sweet Tea. This is what you can drink out of the drift boat tomorrow, bub. Fisherman's Excuses mug. Fish didn't bite, drag suck, muddy water, too windy, no bait, too cold, got to get new tackle. I love it. So these yellow slabs of cedar have, have made their way from Alaska um, down here. And these will be uh, yeah, quite the journey that, that these have taken from Alaska to a push to become made into paddles. Rio has um, measured them off. He's gonna, he'll be cutting it at five feet. Here's a cutout <laughs> we'll be using. So we're just starting to make a dent into this pile here. We got a, a pile of them cut up. Been marking them at five feet. But we're gonna keep chugging along. Uh, 
That is the last one. Cut. We're just putting the last one in the pile. So what we got going on now is we got uh, the paddles that we're going to be um, tracing, sketching out onto these uh, pieces that we have just cut. So if I'm to, I just sketched this one out, and if I was to move this, that's the pattern to cut out. So I was just informed that this paddle right here is an original paddle from 1989, the first paddle uh, to Seattle. To be sketching that out is absolutely, that, to me, that's awesome. Um, you know, I've heard some stories about the first paddle to Seattle, and what an amazing journey. You know, I, I have heard when they were in the straits um, paddling that a submarine at one point come up out, out of the water, and everybody that was on board had, had come up on top and saluted. Uh, the Quillute tribe and as they were paddling to Seattle you know so to be holding this paddle uh, tracing it out is is an honor you know pretty cool stuff if this paddle could talk it would tell you quite the story the journey that it took from La Push in 1989 all the way to Seattle Okay, so we have finished carving, or not carving, but outlining. We sketched all these out. We do it now. Carving out one of the little paddles here. So now as Rio's cutting on me, you know, it's uh, yellow cedar and it has a, a really different smell than like western cedar because this comes from Alaska and it smells different, you know, like I grew up uh, around a mill, my dad used to have a mill and it brings me back to my childhood to a certain extent, but like this smell is a lot different. It uh, smells good, don't get me wrong, you know, 
but it's pretty neat, you know, they go from these planks like this to what he's carving into those blanks right there. Now, they're just blanks. They're, they're uh, still thick. You'll have to, or whoever's going to be carving on these, you know, they can take time with uh, the right carving materials or knives and carve it down and have their paddle. Something else I just noticed, you know, like when I'm sanding or I'm vlogging, I got all these wrinkles in different places, you know. I'm just rolling with it, I don't care. I'm 35 years old. The beauty wrinkles, right? Pinging, that sound that you just heard was well, there was uh, a tack or a nail in there, and yeah. Alright, anyway, so we just kind of finished up with what we had going on. It's a beautiful day out here in Western Washington. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, always remember, do what makes you happy. Don't worry about what other people think or say about you. Because in the end, they don't matter. You matter. Oh, uh, one more thing. We'll be, PRW will be hitting uh, the rivers tomorrow. So look forward to a video of us out here in the rivers or on one of the rivers in western Washington uh, catching some salmon so stay tuned y'all take care and God bless Point.